Financial scams that target senior citizens are being called the crime of the 21st century. We all want to protect our parents and grandparents from predators that simply steal their money. Attorney Lonnie Coombs is back with her legal list of ways to help protect them. And what's the first thing we should be aware of, Lonnie? You know, we should first be aware of what the scams are. Mm -hmm. So the FBI came out with a list of 10 scams that are specifically targeting our elderly victims. Uh, the list includes things like Medicare scams. Mm -hmm. So someone will represent that they are actually a Medicare representative. And remember mm -hmm. that the, the um, baby boomers were taught to be trustful and to be polite. Yeah. So here's this official saying, I'm a Medicare official, I need your information. They give their information and then that scammer uses it to file false claims and take the money. Um, there are anti-aging scams, there are investment scams. There's one that's really horrible, it's about um, prescription drugs. So a lot of our elderly, you know, loved ones are on prescription drugs. They want to find a cheaper way to get them. They go on the internet, they see a great deal, they order these drugs. What they don't realize is that the drugs are actually counterfeit. So not only are they throwing their money away, but they're taking drugs that are placebos and not helping them. So that could be hurting their health also. Yeah. So there's, there's um, reverse mortgages, yeah. there's a lot of telemarketing scams, and then there's one that's actually called the grandparent scam. Oh, and this happened to my mom. So what? she picks up the phone and says hello. She hears this youthful voice saying, hey, grandma, it's me. So the grandparent thinks of, oh, is it so-and-so? And they say, yeah, it's so-and-so. And then they tell them that they need money for something. They don't want to bother their parents. And they end up giving them money because they want to be good grandparents. So there are all these ways that they can get this money. Um, in fact, in 2015, the last time they actually accounted this, they said that the losses were over $35 billion. Oh. So they're, we're losing a lot of money uh, in this way. Why do you think the elderly get targeted so much? Well, because first of all, they are older, so they are, they usually have a nest egg, they have their retirement, they have their home, they are polite and trusting, they don't understand all these scams that are going on, um, and, and when they see these great deals, they think they're just getting a great deal. Mm -hmm. uh, the average loss is $120,000 per victim. So they're not talking about just, you know, $25. That's big there. money. This is big money. You know, and they think, I want, I'm going to make a great deal. It's going to help my retirement. Um, and it ends up just taking all their retirement away. So what do you do? What are like warning signs? How do you know you're getting scammed? Right, right. So you want to teach your parents about the warning scams. First, you can actually go through and go through the list of the scams that are out there, but also teach them that, look, no legitimate organization is ever going to ask you for your financial information, your mm -hmm. checking account, your social security. So even if they say they're your bank or a hospital, don't give that out. Mm -hmm. If they're pressuring you to act immediately, oh, this deal is only here for yeah. right now, you've got to, don't check anybody else, trust us, you know, don't go for that. Um, if they're asking for cash, if they say they'll send a messenger to pick up your mm -hmm. money, don't go off for any of that. So teach them the warning signs and teach them that this is not the way a legitimate business would work. And should you tell your parents to have them go through you? Like, I actually remember this happened to a friend of mine where someone came knocking at the door soliciting services. Mm. And they ended up getting, like, some kind of air conditioning that they didn't even need. Right, right. They should always, if they're concerned, one in doubt, check it out and say, I want to check with my, you know, my child, my loved one, my friend. And if they're legitimate, they'll say, sure, go ahead. They'll encourage them to confirm that they're actually credible. Oh, yeah. Another thing you can do is help block the solicitation. So most of the solicitations, the um, fraud on elderly, are done through landlines. Mm. So talk to them about either getting rid of their landline altogether or not answering it. Get them a cell phone with an unlisted number. That will cut down on a lot of the calls. Yeah. You can also put their um, their phone number on a do not call list. Thank you, Lonnie, so much. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of great information. You can find more of Lonnie's legal list on our website, NBCCALive.com.